Hello, a warm welcome to you all from SGT University. I am Sumit Kaur from Faculty of Agricultural Sciences. Today we will be learning about weeds, its characteristic and classification. So let's begin. A Great Britain farmer, Jethro Tull, was the first person who has defined weed in 1731. Weeds are unwanted and undesirable plants that interfere with the utilization of land and water resources and thus adversely affect crop production and human welfare. Weeds compete with crops for water, soil, nutrients, light and space and thus reduce crop yields. Weeds are no stranger to man. They have been there ever since he started to cultivate crops about 10,000 BC and undoubtedly recognized as a problem from the beginning. Weeds Certain characteristics of weeds Nature has bestowed the following qualities on weeds. Number 1. It produces large number of seeds compared to crops. Most of the weed seeds are small in size and contribute enormously. Seeds germinate earlier and their seedlings grow faster. They flower earlier and mature ahead of the crops they infest. They have the capacity to germinate under varied conditions but very characteristically season bound. The peak period of germination always takes place in certain seasons in regular successions year after year. Weed seeds possess the phenomena of dormancy which is an intrinsic physiological power of the seeds to resist. Weed seeds do not lose their viability for years, even after adverse conditions. Most of the weeds possess C4 type of photosynthesis, which is an added advantage during moisture stress. They possess extensive root system, which go deeper as well as of creeping type. Classification of weeds Based on the lifespan or ontogeny, weeds are classified as annual weeds, Biennial weeds and perennial weeds. Annual weeds. Weeds that live only for a season or a year and complete their life cycle in that season are called as annual weeds. These are small herbs with shallow roots and weak stem. Example, Commelina bengalensis and Chinopodium album. Biennials. It completes the vegetative growth in first season, flowers and sets seeds in the succeeding season and then dies. Example, Alternathera echinata or Decus carota. Perennials live for more than two years and may live almost indefinitely. They propagate not only through seeds but also by underground stem, root, rhizome, tubers, etc. Based on ecological affinities, wetland weeds, they are tender annuals with semi-aquatic habit. They can thrive as well as under waterlogged condition or in the partially dry conditions. Example, Amania bassifera or Eclipta alba. Garden land weeds. These weeds neither require large quantities of water like wetland weeds nor they successfully withstand extreme drought as dryland weeds. Example, Trianthema portulaca or Digeria arvensis. Dryland weeds. They are usually hard plants with deep root system. They are adapted to withstand drought on account of mucilaginous nature of the stem and hairness. Example, Argimon mexicana. Based on soil type, weeds of black cotton soil. These are often closely associated to those that grow in dry conditions. Weeds of red soil. They are like the weeds of garden lands consisting of various classes of plants. Example, Commelina bengalensis. Weeds of light, sandy or loamy soils. Weeds that occur in soil having good drainage. Example, Leucus aspera. Weeds of lateritic soils. Example, Lentena camera. Based on the place of occurrence. Weeds of crop lands. The majority of the weeds infest the cultivated lands and cause hindrance to the farmers for successful crop production. Example, Flerus minor in wheat. Weeds of pasture land. Weeds found in pasture or grazing grounds. Example, Indicofera. Weeds of wasteland. Corners of fields, margin of channels, etc. Where weeds grow in profusion. Example, Calotropis. 
weeds of playground or road sites they are usually hardy prostate perennials capable of withstanding any amount of trampling example tribalis terrestris based on origin indigenous weeds all the native weeds of the country will come under this group and most of the weeds are indigenous example abutilon and eclypha indica introduced or exotic weeds these are the weeds introduced from other countries example parthenium flerus minor etc based on cotyledon number based on the number of cotyledon it possesses it can be classified as dicots or monocots example echinocloa colonna is a monocot weed and indigofera is a dicot weed based on soil ph they can be classified as acidophile that grow on acid soils example rheumex basophile that grow on saline and alkaline soils example taraxum neutrophile weeds of neutral soils ecalpha indica based on morphology the weeds are classified into three categories number 1 grasses all the weeds that come under family poaceae are grasses they have characteristically long narrow spiny leaves example cynodon dactylon sedges the weeds belong to family cypressi the leaves are mostly from the base they have modified stem with or without tubers example cypress rotundans broadleaf weeds this is a major group of weeds and all the other families come under this all dicotyledon weeds are broadleaf weeds example digeria arvensis based on the nature of stem based on the development of bark tissues on their stem and branches weeds are classified as woody semi woody and herbaceous woody weeds weeds include shrubs and undershrubs are collectively called as brush weeds lantana camera semi woody weeds example croton herbaceous weeds weeds have green succulent stems and are of most common occurrence around us example amaranthus viridis based on specificity besides the various classes of weeds a few other deserve special attention they are poisonous weeds parasitic weeds and aquatic weeds poisonous weeds these weeds cause ailment on livestock resulting in death and great loss example dhatura parasitic weeds the parasitic weeds are either total or partial which means they depend completely on host plants are the total parasite while as the weeds that partially depend on host plants for minerals and are capable of preparing it foods are partial parasites example total root parasite orobanki on tobacco partial root parasite striga on sugarcane and sorghum total stem parasite cuscuta on lucerne and onion partial stem parasite lorenthus on mango and other trees aquatic weeds unwanted plants which grow in water and complete at least a part of their life cycle in water are called aquatic weeds they are further divided into four categories submerged emerged marginal and floating weeds So today we learned about weeds and its characteristic. Next time we meet we'll be exploring weed identification. Till then keep learning, keep growing. See you next time.